Hey guys, and welcome back to Regrexit, Brexit Britain, a country whose interior minister can be banned from one of the most important meetings in the world. All that sovereignty, eh? Mm. And also, welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you so much, yeah, for all of your messages, yeah. And I say a special thanks, yeah, to all for all your messages, yeah. I'm, I get so many messages, yeah, and, so, you know, I'm sorry for any that I don't answer, but I do read all the messages and I really do enjoy all the messages. I thank you so much for sending in such special messages to me. And I'll go through all the messages. I'll answer as many as I can, but I will like all your messages for definite. Right, so... Where are we? We've got, um, oh, we've got this new variant, right? Which obviously, you know, for Boris Johnson, you know, this, this variant has come, has just come at the right time because, you know, that because these guys are fucking up so much that they need distractions. They need, they need major distractions. Like you see last week, how they just threw in, you know, they just threw in a couple of distractions last week, but this week the new variants come, right? So it gives Boris Johnson a chance, right, to, to look and act prime ministerial right and if he you know and if he can get things right over this right he'll he'll be able to get to hand out like you know a, a few more billions of pounds to his friends to his to his to his friends and you know the and the tories friends and their donors they'll be able to hand out you know millions more pounds to these people right you know and and boris johnson will be able to use you know the fact that you know that that he's dealt with or I say the NHS has dealt with the, the new variant, right? Boris Johnson will be able to use that, yeah, further down the line, you know, you know, as he uses with everything, you know, the vaccine rollout, you know. I don't even know if he's, I don't even know if he's saying that he got Brexit done anymore because you know that would be that would just be stupid, wouldn't it? I mean that because we because we all know that Brexit is not done, right? And Brexit is still waiting to be done. Right? In fact, Brexit will never be done. Right, so but yes, yeah, so Boris Johnson will just try and use it to his advantage because you know it, it looks like right that they've that they've tried to get ahead of this particular um, variant, right? Where they've um, where they where people have got to go straight into quarantine if they come from certain places, uh, and you know, and uh, masks I think from tomorrow are going to be something what you you know they you know compulsory in shops and on public transport. Now for me, yeah, I haven't stopped wearing a mask. So for me, you know, I, I don't really do public transport anyway. Right? But yeah, anytime I go into a shop, right, you won't find me going into a shop without without my mask on. Right? And that's and, and I've been like that for you know from, from ever since this um this this virus has been with us. But I've, you know, so so for me, it's it's no real change. Do you know what I mean? And like, you know, I do social dis, I, I, I social distance anyway. And let, you know, unless I'm in a club, which is quite impossible to social distance when you're in a club, right? And you know, and and wearing a mask in a club, probably not going to be, um, probably not going to be. And for an MC, I mean, it's going to be kind of difficult, isn't it? You know, what I mean? yeah, talking on the mic, yeah, with a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a club, that would be, do you know what I mean, right? So now we've got, um, so yeah, so, so yes, yeah, so as I said, with this new variant, right, you know, um, this has come for Boris Johnson, as I said, it come, it's come just at the right time, right? Because, I mean, all you have to do, yeah, is look at what's happened to us over the weekend, right? Britain is the most embarrassing country, is the most embarrassing embarrassed country right it's the weak it's the world's weakest country right it can be pushed about by a country that 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 we could look at and say you know before there, there was a featherweight country before right who could push us about now right because britain has got absolutely nothing going for it it's got nothing going for it now Right. Is given away. Britain has given away, right? The the main the, the main things that it had going for it. Britain has given them all away, you know. And um, but it's but it's taken back control of its sovereignty, right? And that sovereignty said, you know what, Priti Patel, you can keep your fat ass right in Britain. Don't even come to our important meeting that we're having about migrant crossings, right, from France into the fucking UK. <laughs> You know, at this at this time, yeah, I just think of like um, Peggy Mitchell, right? One of our favourites, yeah. You know, 
R.I.P. Barbara Windsor. Get out my pub! <laughs> <laughs> That's how the French are just dealt with her. You're not allowed. You're barred. Oi, you, you're out of here. Don't show your face in this meeting. You are persona non grata. <laughs> How embarrassing is this? How embarrassing, right? Do you Brexiters feel right now? Are you? Are you? Have you not sufficiently embarrassed this country enough as it is, right? That the French, our neighbours, can just say to us, you know what? Yeah, we're having a meeting, yeah, with um, interior ministers, right? But Britain, you're not coming. You're uninvited. That's got that word, right? Uninvited. <laughs> There's got to be some type of negatives in there, right? You're uninvited. Can you remember the last time you was uninvited to something? Like a wedding or a party, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And the person just said, no, nah, well, <coughs> you are uninvited. You're no longer welcome. Oh, my God. Can you believe, right, that this country, right, once great nation, right, we had a motherfucking empire, Right, we saved the French. I think it's that way. We saved them. We saved the French, right, from the Nazis. Right, and now the French just like you know what, right? The way how you do politics is stupid, and we don't do politics in that way. We do not do politics by Twitter like we're some type of fucking drill group. Right? Like you're some type of drill or trap artist, right? You're doing, right, government on Twitter. How stupid have you got to be to do government on Twitter when you're dealing, right, with international leaders? You see, when you put someone in there that's a clown, right, these are the type of mistakes clowns make, right, because they keep tripping over the big shoes, yeah, the red nose gets in the way. Okay, right? You know, they've got to act clownish. That's what clowns do. Prime ministers act prime ministerial. Clowns act clownish. Right? When you speak to, you speak to another world leader, right? You agree some stuff, right? That's what you do. And then you write them a letter. Saying, well, you know what, this is this is the stuff that we've agreed, right? So, you know, I'm just sending you a letter to make sure that like that we're still that everything's still okay with this. Right? So then, right, that world leader gets back to you and says to you, Yeah, listen, yeah, absolutely fine, absolutely brilliant. Then you get back to that world leader and say, Look, you know what I wanna do? I wanna release this on Twitter just so people know that we're working behind the scenes. That's how you do it. That, that's what's supposed to be done. Right? Very simple. It's not difficult. Right? You don't speak to a world leader right? and then write the letter and while the letter is on the way to that world leader, you post it on Twitter. I mean, what do you think? What, what do you think the other world leader is going to do? And then when you post it on Twitter, right, you post in a load of stuff right, that that world leader says, well, hold on a minute. This is not what we spoke about. This is just ridiculous. You know, you're trying to, you know, you're basically trying to set me up. And then you post it on Twitter. We don't do government by Twitter. Okay? We're not fucking Donald Trump. All right? This is, this is a ridiculous way, right, to be trying to run your government via Twitter. Right? And then, you know, if you just look what, 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 what Boris Johnson was trying to say to the French... It's basically saying, you know what, um, we don't do nowhere near as much as you're doing, right? In fact, we do a lot less than you're doing, right? And what this letter is, we're, we're actually going to ask you, yeah, if you can do even more and we can do even less. Nothing about what they're going to do to actually solve the situation of people trying to cross the, the, the waters. Nothing about that. There's, there's nothing about that. It's just, oh, you know, extra patrols. 
right? You know, um, you know, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing people back. You know, can you take back? Can you take back people? You know, he's, he's openly asking Macron, right, in this letter, can you take people back? We say, well, hold on a minute. First of all, that's not the way to do it. Secondly, you left a doubling convention. You left it. Or agreement. I've heard people call the doubling convention the agreement and something else as well. There's some, someone called it something else the other day and I was like, Huh? <laughs> but you know, you left that agreement. You did. So no, you can't send back. Oh, how can you send back people? Right? You know, this is the thing. This is the thing with the Brexiters, right? They expect, right, that the EU must treat us exactly the same as when we was part of the EU. You know, their stupid, thick brains can't get round the fact that you know what? You've left the EU and now you're a third fucking country. OK, so don't expect the same deal as you had when you was in the EU. OK, don't expect it. Don't expect that if, if, if someone turns up on your shores, right, and they right, have claimed and they've claimed asylum in Spain. Right. And then you say, well, you've claimed asylum in Spain. Right. You can't use the Dublin agreement to send them back to Spain. You can't do that because the Dublin agreement right, does not apply for us anymore. Right. So Boris Johnson saying this to Macron, right, in in an open letter, right, that you know that France needs to take back more of the people that come over here over the channel, right, is just ridiculous. It's completely and utterly shameful, right? And it just shows, right, that Boris Johnson knew nothing about the workings of the EU before he decided to pull us out. He knew nothing about it. Just like the people of this country, right, who voted to leave, knew nothing about the runnings of the actual EU, right? Because if they did, if they did, right, if they did and they voted for this shit, right, then they are fucking stupid, okay? Anybody, right, who says, you know what, I understood how the EU works, right, is a fucking idiot, right? If they say to you, you know what, yeah, I understand how it works. Of course I did. Right. But you know what? I think I felt that we needed to run our own. Well, well, we can run. Well, we're running our own stuff now. And that's got our interior minister banned from a meeting right, about people that are crossing our channel to get here. Right. But we are not welcome in that meeting. Right. How insulting is that? How how low has this country gone to? Right. How embarrassing right, do you think this is? This is more than embarrassing, right? The right wing should be holding their head in shame, right? That, that, that this has happened to us. That France can just say to us, no, that's it, you're done. You are done. How dare they? Right? That's what you should be asking yourself. How dare they? I'm not upset with the French. No, because the French are right to do what they've done. They're right to say, you know what, Brits? Fuck off. They're absolutely right to do that. Right. You know, and because that's what we would have done if it was if it was if it was the other way around. OK, now they are absolutely correct to do what they've done. Right. And it served this country. Right. And I'm telling you something. Right. I am enjoying this Brexit more than any of you fucking racist fools. Right? Because I'm enjoying seeing you like, get wiped all over the fucking floor because this serves you right. It serves you right, because as a black man who's never felt welcome here by you, right? And you know who I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. You Nigel Farage supporters, right? You type of people have never welcomed, you've never made us feel like we're welcome here, even though we're born in this country. I'm a fucking cockney, okay? Right? We're born in this country and we've never felt welcome, right? So I am enjoying watching you people squirm all over the place. Watching like the Tory party yeah, getting ripped to fucking pieces by the Europeans, right? And being made to look absolute fools of. It serves you right. Absolutely serves you right. So we should we speak about some Brexit now. Before I bust a blood vessel. <laughs> right? So eighteen percent, right? of voters think that Brexit is going well. That's that lot that I was just speaking about a minute ago. That's them. Right? Because you know what? Right? They think to themselves, you know, we don't care, right, that businesses are, are, are you know, there's, there's, st there's signs for staff everywhere. All over the place. There's signs for staff, 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 all over the place. 
right? You know, they, I, I saw them go back to that um, that lady farmer, the pig farmer, right? Who is absolutely in bits. She's absolutely, you know, she's had to apply to the government, right, for for a license to cull her her um, her pigs on. You know, this is you know. But speaking of pigs, I mean, they, they should have maybe they should have just sent the pigs down to Peppa Pig World to go and have a good fucking time with the prime minister, right? But she is absolutely incandescent right with not with rage with sorrow but she voted for this she voted for it she voted for this and it serves her right i say to you lady pig farmer lady good serves you right right you should have had two brexits in your ass right that would teach you a fucking lesson right because your ass is too racist Right, to have even thought about what you was voting for. Right? So it serves her right, right that she's had to cut off all of her. I just feel, you know, I feel sorry that, uh, you know, that these things are not going into the food chain. Right? And, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're basically culling animals, you know, perfectly healthy animals and just culling them. Right? You know, why breed them in the first place just to do that? You know, it's just... You know, and then you got to think of like next year, what it's going to be like for this lady. What's she going to what, what what's going to happen for next year? Because you know they they I know they applied for eight hundred butchers to come to this country, right? But I don't know how many they've got, but I do know it can't be very many. Even though yeah, it was far too late when they when they when they you know was asking the EU for for eight hundred butchers. It was far too late at that stage anyway. Right? But people ain't going to want to leave from the EU. Right, to come into this hostile environment, right, to come and work, right, come and get racially abused, right, work in some stinking abattoirs, right, for six months and then they can fuck off back to wherever the fuck they come from. No, they're going to want that. They're going to want that for. It's ridiculous. So that's probably why they haven't, that's, that's the reason why they haven't been able to get like, the butchers over, right. So, you know, so we're just in that situation, right, where 18% of the people in this country believe to themselves, you know what, Brexit's going well. They are the hardcore racists, those 18%. That, they're the people, yeah, they're the people who have managed to convince, you know, people who are probably not racist, but just stupid. Because, you know, if you voted Brexit and you're not racist, then you're stupid. Like, right? there's, no, there's no in between. That's, that's, that's the two you've got. Stupid or racist? Right. So you, so you, out of the Brexiters, choose which one of those of those you are. And, and I mean, you can be a stupid racist. So that 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 eighteen percent, they are actually stupid racists. The eighteen percent, right? But the rest of you, you can be either just stupid or racist. But it's definitely one of the two, definitely, right? So. I don't know if you've seen like over the weekend yeah, the unionists right in um Ireland have signed um they've signed an agreement to um try and postpone the um Irish protocol. Right. Even though, right, it's going well the, the protocol is going very well for a lot of for a lot of the Irish businesses, right? But the um the D U P side, that's the ones who don't understand politics. Right. They Right, um, they are trying their hardest, right, to get um, Ireland, right, to be the same as how England is. They, 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 they're just like, well, why can't we have our like, you know, our fuel shortages? Why can't we have our our shelves empty of food? Why can't our interior minister be banned from a meeting that's about something about your country? Why, you know, this is what the this is what this this is what the DUP side is saying. Why, why, why can't we get these things? The unions. Why can't we? Why can't we have all that? We want that. We want that. Right. We want the catastrophe in our country. Right. We need that. And they they signed the agreement. Yeah, on the union flag, not on the flag itself, but the flag was uh, like the tablecloth. <laughs> right. And that's how you know. They, right. But that's what they want. They want the same as what we. They want the same as what we've got. Now I can tell you. My Irish, my Irish peoples, yeah. Top of the morning to you, right? You don't want this shit. You don't want this, 
right? This is embarrassing, right? This, right, is, you know what? You can't go to the shops and get exactly what you want when you want it, right? You know, this, right, driver shortages, right? You know, um, you know um, employee shortages, Right. businesses having to, you know, can't operate, you know, some of them can't operate in that, you know, over the lunch lunch period because they haven't got staff to cover, you know. You know, most pubs that I've, that I've seen, right, not, not going to many pubs, but most pubs that I've seen have got signs up for staff, right. All over the place I'm seeing signs for staff, staff, staff. I mean, I would personally go and do some of these jobs, but I've got a lot of carpentry work to do. Right? So I say to you guys, why don't you go out there and do it? You, but, but... You've probably got work to do, right? So I'd just like to say to, to you, Brexiters, where do you think, right, that these people was coming from, right, that was that was running all these businesses? Where do you think they was coming from? Where do, do you know, Because the, the, the thing is, right, most people have got jobs in this country, right? You know, most people have jobs, right? Even though, even though, you know, a lot of those jobs might not pay enough for people to live on, but most people have jobs, yeah? Hence, you know, the UC, Right, and now I want you to all remember this, right? Because this is obviously is going to be our first Christmas, right? Where sending presents to your to your like your your friends or your family in the EU, right, may well you know, get new charges and VAT put on them this year because obviously you know everything's changed, right? So the reports are that there there have been VAT, there have been new charges and VAT. And a lot of delays, yeah, and a lot of parcels and that going missing. That's just that's just probably a normal thing, like parcels going missing and that. But obviously, the new charges is a new thing, and obviously, there's new bits of paperwork that you you'll have to fill out for certain items as well, right? So all of this is our Brexit bonus. Enjoy. Anyway, guys. This is by any means necessary. I'm the MC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.